Good afternoon, Jags. This is Fahad. Let's get started. I have a, a quick update on one of the stocks that we have traded previously, Yandex, Y-N-D-X. Taking a look at a few interesting things that are happening on my screen. Uh, three days ago, on Tuesday this week, there was a buyer of 4,000 March 31 calls for up to $1.85 offer side. This was approximately $600,000, $700,000 bullish bet. It is still reflected in the open interest. At that time, I didn't really make much of it. But then today, they're returning again, and I'm noticing some action taking place in May uh, 2935 bullish risk reversal. So they are selling May 29 puts to finance May 35 calls. And stock has been quite active, pretty strongly trading to the upside for the last three, four days, along with the rest of the market, of course. So I want to take a look at deeper today to see if there's something here. Interestingly, caught my attention when this note came from JP Morgan. This was issued this morning. Now, this is an earnings preview. Keep in mind, earnings will not come out until February 15th. So there's plenty of time until that happens. And you may see more action, maybe a little bit of a pullback in short term, just because it's up a lot today. It has been up a lot the last three, four days. But I want to point out something in this that catches my attention. Now, um, in this earnings preview, JP Morgan is looking at the fourth quarter report that will be coming out. And I quote over here, fourth quarter revenue growth across core, search and portal. Now, these are the two most important businesses the company has and the emerging verticals. We know the taxi business is pretty strong. We have discussed this many times in the past is going to likely to exceed management expectations. And so now this is done on channel checks, particularly they're looking at the business trends that are taking place in Russia. Uh, Yandex is a Russian based company. Most importantly, where they find the upside to come from is from the food delivery business, which is where the taxi upside will come from. And as far as the core research, the core search is concerned, which is another part of the business that Yandex has, they're seeing simply better uh, click-through rate come through. So as a result, based on all those checks, they see upside in the stock when the company will be reporting earnings. Now, interesting thing is that in this particular note, there are a few other caveats that they have entered that may also provide a little bit of a catalyst. So I want to discuss one thing in particular, which was a... Uh, which effectively hurt the stock previously back in October. Some background for you guys. Um, the company uh, has some very large shareholders, mostly the original founder as well as the insiders of the business, uh, the top 11 or 12 money managers that are, in, that are big shareholders of the company. There was a report out in October last year that hurt the stock badly, and this report said that these... The, the founder and the managers, they are looking to take the company um, uh, by 60%, moving 60% of their funds in the company into a separate entity fund, which will then control a master ownership into the company. So it's basically a change in the capital structure. By having everybody pulled together with a 60% ownership that will be owned by this particular fund, the, the idea is they'll be able to command the actual operations, the management of the company. When this news came out, it created more confusion back in October than, than it did really anything else. And it overshadowed, which was a pretty good quarter back in October. And as a result, the stock came down sharply. Then fast forward in November, there was another report out. And this particular report was talking about an article that was from a magazine in Russia that they are going to make this move and the the motion is already in place and you may see this come through as a particular catalyst in the next couple months and effectively what this means now the way the writing is on the wall if this happens and 60% of the company's vote go into a particular fund that will be that will control the operations of the business and the direction they want to take it to it may actually turn out to be a quite positive 
element for the company because right now there's a lot of disagreements between some of the largest shareholders but by having one authority one firm control and then having the right direction where they want to take the company this may actually be seen as positive so in other words a resolution itself of this capital structure that has been talked about for a while may actually end up being a positive catalyst for the company then on top of it you add the fact that october quarter was a really good quarter and now the next one that will be coming out sometime in February, on February 15th is when the earnings, expectation, uh, earnings report is scheduled. You may see that another strong quarter boosting the stock higher. Now keep in mind one thing, that the current consensus, or actually let me go back, the, 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 the guidance that was provided for the fourth quarter revenue growth by the company back in October was 35% year-over-year growth. Bloomberg consensus right now going into this earning is at 40%. So a lot of analysts are already above uh, the company's high end of the guidance, which was at 35%, Bloomberg at 40%. JP Morgan's note is at 42% growth. So they are ultra bullish based on their particular channel checks. Taking a look at the stock, here's an interesting picture that is emerging. This is a weekly scale, last about a year and a half or so. A very firm downtrend. You can see that this massive high volume spike down that happened in October was, the, uh, was that report that I was talking about when there was discussion taking place about change in the capital structure and the control. Now it is starting to break out from this very firm downtrend that has been in place. And there's also major VOP resistance that comes into play, which it is attacking right now. On a daily scale, it's slightly overbought. That's why I'm thinking after a very strong weekly performance, you may see just a little bit of a pullback. But if these things are true, if the earnings report is good, and if this capital structure formation goes through properly as expected, I expect most likely a bit of a pause here, then further push higher. And I think this stock can get up to $37 to $38 per share. We have March 31 call buyer earlier this week, and now we have some May 29, 35 bullish risk reversals that are also taking place. So keep an eye on this stock. It looks pretty interesting over here. If you get just a little bit of a pullback in the next couple of days, I think that will provide much better entry. But I think it's at a juncture where you should continue to move higher from here with higher highs and higher lows. That's it from me today. Thank you very much for joining.